of course the main <laughs> need in places like this is food and warmth and uh, comfort and for people to be where they want to be um, and the charities are doing an incredible job at that uh, as far as I can see but uh, we we're entertainers and and I think there's a lot of there's a lot of boredom here as well as a lot of need and so if we can give two hours of um, entertainment diversion then it's worth doing We try to provide um, an experience that certainly does not uh, require you to know anything about Shakespeare beforehand. You know, we try to entertain people by by telling them a story. We tell that story in English. Today, we've had uh, we've sort of prepared synopses on paper in a vast range of languages: uh, in Pashto, in Kurdish, uh, I think in Farsi, I think in Dari, in Arabic, in French, and English, to just try to help people give uh, a synopsis of what's going on. Uh, yes, I like. Why? Because uh, I study this. I know something about this. It's. Uh, I think it's good. من داستانش دیدم شنیدم ایران هم شنیدم داستانش کتاباش خوندم کتاباش Hamlet is a man who is confused, uh, in doubt, who is contemplating life, who is contemplating death, uh, who is in the middle of a decision and who doesn't know what to do. Um, this is the situation and the, the reality for many young men in the camp. And, you know, there's always talk about how old Hamlet is. Well, you know, Hamlet, in my eyes, is a very young man, about 16 years old, and there are many young kids here without their families, and they are experiencing exactly what this play is about. Horatio, 